Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I put anything out on the World Wide Web, but today I thought I would show you guys how to make some puppets. I am an ESL online instructor uh, for an online company in Beijing called VIP Kid. And one thing that we are always trying to do inside class is get the kiddos talking. So I wanted to show you this little hack that I learned about for my ESL students. I'm also a kindergarten teacher here locally in Houston, and I wanted puppets for my classroom. And I happened to see uh, somebody uh, had one of these in their classroom, and I was like, absolutely, I will be making some of these for summer. So what you will need is the Dollar Tree. If you don't have one close to you, you can probably find this at like a Walmart. Um, but this, what this is, is just a, like a chamois for a car. And they're in the automotive section in um, the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure where they are at Walmart, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them. You will need a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, and I also got these at the Dollar Tree. They're googly eyes. And so I'm gonna try to find the biggest googly eyes that I can, and I'm gonna show you what I do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Again, I'm gonna try to find the biggest googly eyes I can. All right, I think these are probably the biggest one. You don't wanna put really small ones on, only because the kids are gonna have a hard time seeing it, and I know this is kind of big for my hand, but you want them to be able to uh, use it and communicate. So I found these, these are the biggest ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue them on to my chamois, my car chamois. All right, so I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna put two dots on either side where I'm going to make my eyes or I wanna put my eyes, all right. So let me go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna put a lot of hot glue because I work with Kinder Babies. And this summer I'm working with Pre-K and I'm sure they're not going to be very gentle with my green eyed monster. So I wanna make sure that I have it on nice and tight. Okay. Now you can draw on eyelashes or whatever you'd like. I'm not that creative. So I'm just gonna stick to the simple googly eyes and some hot glue, which seems to be working. Okay, I'm gonna glue this bad boy on. I'm gonna let it cool for just a few minutes. Now if you have a nose or if you have a mouth and you wanna put those things on, you can, I'm not gonna do this here because I want the kids to do the talking and if they wanna add them on later, they can, but this will be in one of my centers during summer. Um, and let me see, I'm just trying to show you. You might have to get off the extra strings, but voila! Hello and welcome to my classroom. Like I said, you can add on a nose and some mouth if you want, and you can eyeliner, a hat, whatever um, you'd like to put on. But aren't these the cutest thing? And the kids would be so excited to use them in their literacy center. All right, I wanna show you one more hack that I learned about. I'm gonna share with you. These are in fact bath uh, washcloths in the baby section, in the bathroom section, here again at the Taller Tree. So they have like a little chamois that's on the front, but it is, it's um, attached by a couple of strings. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to attempt to cut it off. This is the first time I've done this. So you guys are gonna see it with me. And it does exactly what I thought it was going to do. So if you clip the very edge of the string, it pulls right apart. It's not on very hard. You don't need a whole lot of strings to get it off. If you have a seam separator, which you can buy at the Walmart sewing section, it would probably work a lot better. But you could just simply cut the strings um, and it will come right off. All right, and voila, 
you have a duck puppet for your literacy center. Um, and these again, were all just a dollar. So I have a dog puppet, a duck puppet, a pig puppet, a shark puppet, and I ended up getting two, because I'm gonna make two so the kids can talk back and forth to each other, because um, uh, one of the biggest things for ESL students is to be able to use their language skills. So these will be going in my centers during summer school. I hope you guys enjoyed my little hack for today and look out for some more reading videos as I will start my reading series on Friday. All right, guys, leave your messages in the comments. Let me know if you liked them. If you want me to share anything else with you, I'll be more than happy to share. Bye, guys.